assalamu alaikum students i am your course instructor miss anika said zia from university of education bank road campus lahore and uh, your major course in painting is your thesis which is a practical subject and the course code is fine 4125 and uh, today we are going to discuss about the visual vocabulary and different art terms which will help you uh, while constructing your body of work for the thesis so there is conceptual art which is very important to create any body of work uh, conceptual use of me medium in conceptual art we can see that uh, there is conceptual use of medium that uh, which medium you are using either you are using oil paints acrylics or uh, why you are using such kind of medium uh, you can also incorporate paints along with other mediums conceptual use of images what kind of images you are using uh, from where you have taken those images and uh, what is association of those images and what is the importance of those images in our society conceptual use of color that uh, why you are why why you have selected those specific colors uh, for your images for your paintings and how you used to see those colors and how the society used to see on those uh, specific colors used in your painting conceptual use of motif you can use different motifs um, and we will see that how these motifs have been used in the historical uh art as well conceptual use of symbols you can also use uh different symbols to convey your ideas and emotions but you have to know that uh, what is the importance of specific symbols in the history and culture in and also in our society so first we will discuss about the women the figure of women and how it has been used Uh, in the painting, especially by the Pakistani artist, uh, how they used to look at the female figure and how they are using it in our in their paintings. Women as the subject matter, all genres and forms of art since the beginning of human history have remained incomplete without the indulgence of women as the subject matter. So. even from the prehistoric times we used to see that the female figure has been painted uh, repeatedly and it has a very important important place in art uh, you can see different genres and forms of art genres means uh, different uh, types of art different types suppose in which we can see the landscapes the still lives the figure studies the female figure and image owing to aesthetically alluring appearance and the predilection of the male artist has been reincarnated into many characters but not as a human being so as compared to the male figures female figure has been more associated with different ideas aesthetically and as well as apparently even the modern or the contemporary trends in arts literature and music need complete or partial use of the body character and image of the woman so in every form of art either it is literature music or arts we can see female figure as an integral part of uh, that art field without female figure there is kind of emptiness sumaira jawad sumaira jawad is a pakistani painter whose work revolves around the image of woman through history presented in another phase of her work the psychological quest and social pursue of women to endure without any emotional compromise so sumaira jawad 
जो है उनका काम फीमेल आर्टिस्ट के ऊपर जो है वो रिवॉल्व करता है एंड एट द इनिशियल स्टेज ऑफ हिज ऑफ अर हार्ट वर्क शी हैज़ पेंटेड हर सेल्फ शी हैज़ पेंटेड हर सेल्फ पोर्ट्रेट्स बट इन मेच्योर पीरियड नाउ डेज शी इज़ पेंटिंग द वेरियस इशूज स्पेशली दोशल इशूज ऑफ द फीमेल ऑफ डेज फीमेल इन अ वेरी रिमार्केबल वे If one looks upon the female characters of the figurative paintings it is quite evident that these figures have evolved with the painter's skills Sumaira Jawad as a woman uh, intentionally contextualizes intangible thoughts feelings and emotions of her gender so unhone kafi khoobsurti se un thoughts ko capture kiya hai जो कि इंटेलिज इंटेंजिबल हैं जिनको हम विच आर अनटचेबल सो एंड ऑल दीज इमोशंस ऑल दीज थॉट्स आर रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड अ फीमेल ऑफ द सोसाइटी एंड दीज वुमेन ऑन द कैनवस अपीयर स्ट्रॉन्ग एनफ टू एग्जिट एग्जिस्ट एंड सर्वाइव थ्रू द प्रेजेंट टाइम अगेंस्ट ऑल ऑर्ड्स विद मोर ह्यूमन क्वालिटीज एंड नेचुरल potential but with a deeper level of self belief dignity so we can see that uh, the female figures which she used to portray are very strong and they are very confident so as a woman as she is growing and has uh, taken all the exposure uh, the side by side we can see the same development in the in her figures jaise hum unko dekhte hain uh, sumera jawad ko ki unhone time ke sath sath different uh, jo hai uh, developments ki hain aur unki apni personality mein bhi developments aate hain at the same time unke jo images hain wo bhi kafi strong nazar aate hain आइदर दे आर द रिप्रजेंटेशन ऑफ द फीमेल फिगर्स और उनकी कॉम्पोजिशन काफ़ी स्ट्रॉन्ग नज़र आती हैं और एक मेच्योरिटी जो है वो उनके काम में विजिबल है शी हैज़ स्टार्टड कम्पोजिंग हर फिगर्स इन सिम्पल इन सिम्पलिस्टिक समटाइम्स इवन फ्लैट स्पेसिस दिस प्रैक्टिस ऑफर्स मोर सिग्निफिकेंस टू हर करेक्टर्स एंड एड्स अ फीलिंग ऑफ सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन टू दैम सो we feel that her figures are busy uh, in the process of self realization they are exploring uh, themselves or at the same time we can see the flat backgrounds uh, plain color painted in plain color so that the purpose to paint the plain backgrounds is to uh, make the viewers get focus on the characters or the figures which are more important which are the more uh, focal point of the painting at times she also complements her women with a rose indicating the paradoxical possibilities of passion and purity so uh, unki paintings mein hame uh, symbol of rose bhi milta hai ek rose ka element nazar aata hai jisko unhone female character ke sath bhi associate kiya at some places because rose is a flower which is a symbol of beauty which is associate uh, which has the qualities of fragrance and fragility um and the red color is also associated with the feminine uh feminism so these qualities uh are evident uh also in her paintings in the female figures the meaning of her canvases become animated with simple compositions rose and feminine characters which somehow negates the dull diffused and indifferent uh, indifferently present male figures around or nearby in an approach that appears close to female chauvinism as we can see in the painting which is uh, in the coming slide you can see that the female figures are uh, painted in the in the realistic colors uh, in the fresh colors but the male figures have been painted as an object 
uh, in the very dull tones, in the blackish or grayish tones, as they are not having any kind of spe uh, special space or special importance in the figure or in the society as well. As you can see in this painting, that the female has been painted in the realistic colors and the fresh colors, and uh, as she is holding the doll, so there is a connotation as she maybe she has to uh, she has to uh, have a baby, but uh, as far as the male figure is concerned, uh, he has been painted in the blacks. एंड uh, अगर हम उसको देखें मेल uh, फिगर को तो उसका उसकी वैल्यू इस पेंटिंग में जस्ट एक शेप uh, की रह जाती है एक ऑब्जेक्ट की रह जाती है uh, उसका एक जो कनेक्शन है वो बिल्कुल बनता हुआ नज़र नहीं आता विद फीमेल फिगर अगर हम कलर्स की बात करें तब भी और पैटल्स uh, को देखा जाए तो वो रोज़ की पैटल्स हैं और दे फ्रेश कलर्स they are in fresh colors but 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 still there are some petals which are in dead color so uh, basically in sab cheezon ko as a symbolism use kiya gaya hai uh, females ki uh, desires ko dikhane ke liye female ki different issues jo wo uh, face karti hai in our society un cheezon ko un issues ko portray karne ki koshish ki gayi hai to some extent same in this painting we can see uh, only the one petal has been painted in the fresh red color on the top of the male head while the rest of the petals are painted deadly in the black color and uh, they have different connotations uh, regarding the evilness and the different uh, um, social issues relevant to the females and various uh, emotions and feelings where females are bound not to express themselves freely openly here is another painting of her where you can see the use of yellow color yellow plain color in the background and uh, this color has been used as a symbol of hope maybe she is having a hope that uh, still there is god to help her uh, that her sufferings will end up at one day Rahat Naveed Masood then we have another very famous artist pakistani artist Rahat Naveed Masood uh, the paintings of Rahat Naveed Masood were about divine love that covered all aspects of our life in the works of ms masood uh, one finds a dialectical understanding of art that includes the diversity of geometric abstraction and symbolism with elements of organic naturalism so in rahat naveed masood's work we can see the beautiful use of uh, simplified shapes which have more deeper meaning and she has used different motifs and different symbols in her paintings beautifully and we can see a divine love divine love which is associated with the human beings and with the god which is a pure form of love so she is exploring that div that divine love through her paintings the work describes an elusive magic of transformation with aesthetics subtly naturalism the body of work produced for this series stems from a desire to explore spirituality in visual art so there are aesthetics there is divine love there is spirituality there is peace evident in her work memories of having lived in close proximity to a sufi shrine as a child have left a deep imprint on my person and my work as an artist according to her that she used to be 
सो आर्टिस्ट के चाइल्डहुड में शी सेज कि वो सूफी श्राइन के पास जो है उनका टाइम मोस्टली गुजरा है दैट्स वाई शी हैज़ गॉट इन्फ्लुंस्ड फ्राम दैट स्पिरिचुअल फीलिंग figures detached from surroundings and internal internalizing because uh, became the subject of my paintings so wo jo ek hame sufi shrines pe dekhne ko milta hai that people used to uh, get involved in the spirituality and they don't uh, get any uh, interaction with the surrounding world uh, so uh, she has tried to capture that feeling uh, while the person is busy uh, making a connection with his uh, lover which is god and uh, you can see in her painting as you can see uh, there are different motives there is a motive of uh, crescent at the back side in the perspective and there is a symbol of moth in the front side you can see so jaise hum ek bhavre ki baat karte hain moth ki baat karte hain कि उसे पता होता है इस फैक्ट का कि वो लाइट के पास अगर जाएगा तो वो जल जाएगा बट ही डिडेंट अंडरस्टैंड क्योंकि उसको इतना उससे इंटरेक्शन होता है उस लाइट से उसको इतना उससे लव होता है डेट ही डिडेंट बॉदर उस चीज़ को कि ही विल बर्न आउट सो उसी तरह से रात ने इन डिफरेंट जो है सिंबल्स को यूज़ किया है कि इंसान जो है वो बगैर किसी दुनियावी चीज़ों की परवाह किए बगैर जो है वो अपने जो है लव की तरफ इन दिस पेंटिंग वी कैन सी द फीलिंग्स ऑफ लॉन्गिंग्स टू वर्ड्स द लवर हर पेंटिंग टाइटल स्क्वेयर सिंपली एंड ब्यूटीफुली पुट्स वन इन द तवाफ माइंड माइंड सेट द प्योरिटी ऑफ दैट मोमेंट इज इम्बॉडिड यूजिंग गोल्ड लीफिंग फॉर द स्क्वेयर फॉर्म एंड लवली फ्रेश ब्लू फॉर द एरिया सराउंडिंग इट सो बेसिकली शी इज प्लेइंग विद द सिम्प्लीफाइड कलर्स एंड सिंपल शेप्स एंड यहाँ पे शी हैज मेड अ स्क्वेयर आउट ऑफ गोल्ड लीफ एंड एक जो स्क्वेयर है उसको खाना काबा की तरह दिखाया गया है it has a spiritual uh, quality or that's why she has used the gold leaf and there is a kind of fresh blue uh, color jo ki us square ke sides pe hai uh, square color ke ek spiritual uh, jo hai spirituality ko represent kar raha hai ek association ko represent kar raha hai love ki and she breaks it down to the bare minimum turning the whole beast of extremism into one act when man is alone with the creator shedding all that is worldly so yahan pe insaan ko dikhaya gaya hai ki wo sirf apne khuda ke kitne kareeb hai aur yahan pe bilkul cheezon ko simplified kar diya hua hai koi hame yahan pe us tarah se duniyavi cheezon ka asar nazar nahi aata the only thing which she has focused the only feeling she has focused is the pure love between the god and um, the human beings as you can see in this painting the square from painting exhibition title ishq ye jo specially square uh, is painting ka naam hai and ye ishq uh, ishq exhibition thi uske andar se ye jo hai wo ek image hai as you can see uh, a square which is indication of the um, khana kaaba and there is blue color which shows the divine power of god in the heaven uh, in the skies and also in the earth and you can also see in the perspective there is a sky so basically ye sab elements hain ye sab cheeze plant hain and uh, you can see a dove flying on uh, which is associated with peace and uh, here in the right side you can see a flame which is the flame of love and uh, hope so on the left side you can see also the quran so all these um, and there is also the symbol of um, element of rose in it which is also has been used 
as the rep uh, representing love uh, between the god and between the man after that there comes another artist humaira abid she is also a sculptor and as a painter as well and humaira abid is a contemporary artist who was born in pakistan and the main element she works with is wood her recent work combines traditional miniature painting with wood sculptures that's why she is very famous inki kaam ki speciality ye hai that wo 3d sculptures pehle banati and then she used to paint on those sculptures so she has combined two different mediums at the same time to express her ideas remarkably concept if we talk about the concept of her uh, artworks her work examines women's role relationships and taboos from a cross cultural perspective her recent work focuses mainly on this combination she feels this combination is unique pushes the boundaries of otherwise traditional according to her it is very interesting to use both these mediums side by side because if we see in the um, conventional practice done by the painters miniature artist they used to paint on the wurzlies and they have not explored any other mediums but she has tried she has taken a very bold step towards the exploration exploration of different mediums while using the painting miniature painting she uses a lot of symbols in her work she uses everyday objects and present them in unconventional ways she talks about social issues and stereotypes through her work artist is passionate about discussing taboos like miscarriage which is such a common issue but rarely shared and discussed she feels women do do not often talk about it and share their experiences fearing they will end up getting the blame so she has uh, expressed such kind of uh, taboo feelings in her work there are many things women do which are taken for granted she wants to bring up and present these overlooked issues and roles through her work lulubi and the red series as well as the most of her work present just that so iske liye she has used uh, especially the red color jo ke uh, blood ko or uh, miscarriage ko represent karta hai and she was very busy uh, uh, she was a very uh, busy working woman so jo working woman ki different issues hote hain us cheez ko uh, she has highlighted and she has also um, go through the different miscarriages that's why uh, she has a per uh, personal feelings towards this idea and uh, uh, she feels as an artist in her uh, it's her responsibility it's important to present and discuss such issues and educate society conceptual meaning of red color in her artworks red color represents love passion sacrifice blood pain anger and loss so yahan pe hame bahut sare meanings milte hain red color ke jisko uh, homera ne use kiya hai in her um, artworks basically red symbolizes strong emotions or things with strong emotions she developed the red series during and after going through multiple miscarriages and she feels that this color has many layers of meaning interpretations and faces so basically रेड uh, जो है वो टाइटल था एक पूरी सीरीज का जिसमें इसी कॉन्सेप्ट के साथ डिफरेंट जो है एज यू कैन सी हर वर्क इन द सेंटर दर इज अ सेल्फ पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ द आर्टिस्ट एंड एट द साइड्स यू कैन सी देर आर द निपल्स ऑफ द बेबीज सो दे आर देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग कनेक्शन between a mother and a child she wants to bear a child but she is unable and the red color has been used uh, for the pain sacrifice and sorrow 
Here is another painting. This is an uh, this is from another series. Is three. Um, is three. She has taken the term uh, very conceptually. अगर हम स्त्री की बात करें तो इन इन हिंदुज़म स्त्री जो है वो एक फीमेल के लिए टर्म यूज़ होती है एंड शी हैज़ यूज दिस टर्म आयरनिकली इन हर वर्क एक तनकीद के तौर पे शी हैज़ टेकन द ऑब्जेक्ट आयरन जिसको उर्दू में भी स्त्री बोला जाता है दैट्स वाई वाई शी हैज़ टेकन दैट स्पेसिफिक ऑब्जेक्ट दैट स्पेसिफिक एक्ुपमेंट बिकॉज शी इज़ फोकसिंग ऑन द हाउस होल्ड टास्क एंड हाउस होल्ड ड्यूटीज ऑफ फीमेल ड्यू टू विच समाइम्स फीमेल बिकम्स ओवर बर्डनाइज एंड शी यूज टू सफ़र दैट्स वाई शी हैज़ टेकन दैट आयरन एंड शी यूज टू पेंट एट द बॉटम Uh, space at the bottom side of the iron uh, you can see the female figure and there are different uh, muslim motives uh, mot uh, muslim designs uh, which shows the uh, role of female in the muslim society here is another painting she has painted on an original iron at the bottom of an original iron and you can see it has been painted also in the red color टी सेरीमनी प्रपोजल परेड हमारा आबिद ने एक तरह से कमेंट uh, किया है आयरनिक वे में एक तनकीद की है सोसाइटी uh, के कॉन्सेप्ट को लेके सोसाइटी के नज़रिए को लेके व्यू पॉइंट को लेके टूवर्ड्स द फीमेल्स एंड स्पेशली विच ही यूज टू सफ़र ड्यूरिंग द प्रपोजल टाइम so all these ceremonies all these uh, rituals are uh, created by the people only there is no need of such kind of uh, proposal parades so on commenting on that specific thought of the society she has painted uh, her paintings uh, as you can see there is a bride in the red color in the red dress has been painted on a tray Uh, on a tray holder and uh, on the table you can see another uh, tray having the cups and biscuits uh, eaten by the aunts so here the aunts have been uh, symbolizing the society which used to comment on the people continually without having any uh regard regard towards the feelings of that person then there is another artist imran qureshi mughal masters began painting miniatures 5 centuries ago now imran qureshi has taken up the same scroll hair brush as those before him but his tiny trees are filled with splashes of blood and violence so as we know that in mughal era uh, the miniature painting has been started and flourished 5 centuries ago but imran qureshi is another artist especially he used to paint on miniatures he used to paint on large scales as well but he has taken the same tiny petal motif which has been painted earlier in the mughal miniatures as well but this time these leaves these motifs have been painted in the blood and violence in the red color which represents the violation uh, which we used to see in today's time in the present time imran qureshi is a leading contemporary painter painter and is among the pioneers of the new miniature movement that took root in pakistan his paintings convey contemporary contradictions and tensions between tradition and modernity and the violence in society he paints a mix of delicate foliage and blood stains symbolizing blood split as a result of 
terrorist attacks and the eternal human hope so apne kaam mein uh, imran qureshi ne kya use kiya hai he has taken the help of foliage wohi jo specific ek leaf motif hame milta hai jo ki hum mughal miniatures mein bhi dekhte the hame green tree mein hame wo ek uh, healthy environment mein milta tha but now in the contemporary time uh, contemporary uh, present time ki situation ko dekhte hue conceptually she ha- uh, he has used uh, he has painted this petal motif in the red color and he is connecting this red color with the blood stains and um, with the terrorist attacks also and the eternal human hope aur wo jo ek insaniyat ki taraf ek hame ummeed nazar aati hai insaan ki ummeed hame khatam hoti hui nazar aati hai due to the such kind of terrorist attacks to us cheez ko specifically imran qureshi ne yahan pe focus kiya hai he started using the red color in 2011 his artistic expression seeking to capture the horrifying violence of terrorist attacks at home and the response given by the resilient pakistani people qureshi's practice bordering on fear and hope captured the sentiments of many and quickly found global recognition here you can see the title of the painting is evoking carnage roof terrace at the metropolitan museum of art so you can see he has painted his work on the top roof of metropolitan museum and there you can see the blood splashes everywhere but if you will take the close uh, view of that artwork but jab hum usko kareeb se dekhte hain we can see there is a petal a symbol of hope एक हमें नेचर से एक पैटल नज़र आती है एक नेचर से सिंबल नज़र आता है ऑफ ग्रोथ ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ हेल्थ सो बोथ द कॉन्सेप्ट आर मूविंग साइड बाई साइड ऑफ फियर एंड होप एज वेल हेर इज़ अनदर पेंटिंग बाय द आर्टिस्ट विच इज़ विच इज़ हैविंग द टाइटल फ्रैगमेंटेड एज यू कैन सी देर आर फ्लावर्स अलॉन्ग विद पैटल्स बट एट द सेम टाइम there we can see the blood splashes so we can say that there is the positivity and the neg- negativity has been explored in these images side by side because they are these petals are giving a feeling of flowers and if we look at flower it it has fragrance it has its um, fragility so uh, but at the same time we can see the splashes and the blood which is transforming these flowers into the blood ruby chishti she used to fabricate crows from scraps of old and worn fabric that is already imbibed with associations ruby chishti is another famous uh, pakistani uh, artist and she used to paint sculpt uh, she used to make the sculptures as well एंड उन्होंने क्रोज बनाए हैं विद ओल्ड फैब्रिक थस दीज क्रोज बिकम अ विटनेस टू हिस्ट्री फॉर हर दे आर रेजिलियंट अनचेंज बाई एवोल्यूशन एंड थस सर्वाइवर्स एंड कंपेनियंस क्रोज कैरी मेमरीज ऑफ द पास्ट सो वो जो क्रोज को इस सेंस में देखती हैं डेट दे आर एसोसिएटेड विद ह्यूमन बींग्स from a very long period of time and they have the quality to get survive to uh, from the severe conditions as well uh, and uh, they have a very strong connection with the history in pakistan like many other societies the social pressure on the women to be a children is inflexible and ruthless although the decision to have a child is hard even as an individual choice so uh, pakistani societies mein jo ek pressure hota hai uh, females ke upar that you have to bear the child and uh, ek male gender ko leke bahut hota hai ki ladka hi hona chahiye us cheez ko criticize kiya gaya us criticism ko us cheez ko criticize kiya hai artist ne apne kaam mein aur uh, 
uh, you can say that narrow mindedness and the conservative ideas and the stereotypes of that uh, particular society has been depicted in her work uh, very conceptually um, in a close knit society babies are somehow considered to be the integral connectors of family she has used the image of babies in different contexts sometimes in relation to a society that is obsessed with the male offspring as armor when she made them with sanitary napkins jahan ke bachon ko dekha jata hai ki beta hona chahiye consider karte hain society mein ki wo aapko support karega aur wo aapko ek tarah se protect karega but is cheez ke is cheez ke upar ironic way mein tanqeed karte hue criticize karte hue artist ne jo hai babies ko bilkul tissue paper napkins ki tarah banaya hai that usse koi farak nahi padta either it is a female baby or the baby boy or the baby girl it doesn't matter both have equal rights in the society and both have equality uh, equal importance in the society so uh, referencing the idea of the child as a shield or armor for protection against social criticism or babies ko waise bhi bahut consider kiya jata hai that they are very important to establish any relationship so as you can see in the uh, artwork that the baby has been uh, created the sculpture has been created with the help of napkins or the tissue papers which have no value we just use them and just dispose of them so i hope that today's lecture will give you um knowledge about the usage of different subject matters in different contexts and uh, you have also learned about the different motives their conceptual usage and uh, we have also learned about the conceptual use of colors conceptual use of compositions so all these elements come together to make any piece of art uh, either it is painting or a sculpture or installation all these elements are very important and they play a very integral part in the creation of a very successful artwork so i hope that in uh, other lectures we will discuss other aspects of the painting uh, as well which will help you a lot thank you